You know, where is everyone from? I am from, well, my family is from Russia and Belarus, but I live here in the U.S. and Virginia. Um, Can I ask what generation? I, He's one of okay. those Americans from I'm like I'm a the Russian American. I'm a first generation. My parents immigrated here. Right, so they have a, a thick uh, Russian accent, for example, but, and you probably speak Russian, right? Uh, yes, I, I, I can speak Russian. It was my first language. Uh, I wouldn't say they have accent. They came, they came here when they were 20, 21, 22, so. Okay, so you're wrong. Now. And it's both of them. They're, they're both, my, uh, both of my parents, yeah. Belarusian, Belarusian. Where in the U.S. were you from again? Virginia. Virginia, yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Where are you guys from? So I am from uh, Norway. Uh, it's a place, it's a village uh, a little bit north of the Arctic Circle. Uh, and since, you know, I, I guess I can just continue the trend of uh, Alan. So um, my father is, and my family on that side is like completely Norwegian. And then, uh, and, and some Laplander as well. Uh, and then um, on my mother's side, uh, uh, the, she's from Israel, uh, born and raised there. Uh, and my family prior to that, so she's a first generation Israeli, but her mother and father was from Iraq because there were some you know, tensions down there, so they had to fuck off. And um, so um, uh, I, I tend to kind of have a, a fairly good view of the things regarding the Middle East, but uh, I also have family in the U.S., uh, in Florida, uh, because uh, my uncle on my father's side went there. So I kind of, that's one of the reasons I'm kind of like uh, perhaps a little bit unusually involved in what American affairs are. Uh, so, uh, but I'm Norwegian though. Like I'm born and raised Norwegian, and like I, and all that kind of stuff. Like so, I, I like I'm like Alan, Alan. I'm Norwegian. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Well, but because uh, Alan is American, whether he likes it or not, he's shaped by the environment, right? Like I'm not a nationalist. I don't give a shit about that part. You know, I think it's all kind of like silly, arbitrary things that have been normalized over time. Yeah. That if we are, we need people to live the best lives they can. Around, like we can definitely, if you, we just move out of that box, we can definitely make it a, a whole lot better. And this issue with immigration and stuff like that, you know, why do these people flee, right? It's like, um, uh, yo, Peyton. <laughs> um, the, uh, Wyatt, the, like, I, asked I asked everyone where they were from while you were gone. I hope everyone gives their email to Wyatt. I think we've got a great group of eclectic people from all over the world. There could be a news organization out of this eventually. It's done right. <laughs> yeah, well, let's that's, just start a podcast, I, guys. I, Come on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I, I have been collecting the, info, the the contact information. So in case <laughs> in the future we want to do something different or do, we want to do something like purely invited versions of open mic, then I can do. Because if not, without the contact, I cannot really contact you guys. Yeah. Yeah. So you know. I, Vaughn's next. Uh, I was born in California, and then I moved. My dad worked for the airline, so then I moved to Colorado when he got transferred, and I lived probably half my life there. And then I've lived the last 25 years in Kentucky. I just keep fleeing east and south. You're a refugee. But, uh, my parents, you know, they've all been here for a while. So I think the original family came from Germany, but that was probably in the 1800s. So been here for a while like it oh, thanks, we got man. problems but you know it's better than some places oh can i, I can i ask a question yeah, regarding yeah. the uh, oh sorry can, can i ask a question regarding your german heritage like as, as far as i know the, the uh, german immigrants got quite a lot of uh, rounds with the uh, with the government like especially due to the german empire and stuff like that often accused of being the fifth column this being prior to world war one and of course they you know didn't exactly go down on, until after the second world war was over like have you ever heard like his stories or something like that from your family that from the old times like yeah and then you know because we were german they you know they didn't welcome us or they thought that we were and, I don't think they really had any problems. They might have just left because they were poor. I mean, they, they came from a town that was north of Berlin. And uh, I think it was about like 1864. But they settled out in Iowa. And uh, it was, I think, my great, great grandfather. His name was Adolf. And he started a hardware store. And I think that hardware store still had, it's like, it was, a, it was carved in stone, like the old building. So it has his name in the hardware. I think that's still standing, but I think they, they just immigrated here probably economically and then just made their way West and settled in, I don't know if Iowa was a state then, 
yet it was, or it was, it was a territory. territory. I, I wanted to make a very bad joke. I was like, I never knew uh, you call a political party the hardware store. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Seth, where are you from, man? Uh, I'm from Georgia. I'm from the best state in the union. Uh, being oh, here oh, all boy. Oh, man. Yeah, it, well, oh, it is. Boy. <laughs> it's, it's just, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I've uh, been here my whole life. Uh, my ancestry, well, let's not talk about that, but let's, I, I'm a Georgian. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's say I'm English. That's the only ancestor I know. I have English ancestors, so I'm an Englishman. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Uh, yeah, I'm just saying William next. We're, we're kind of working around the whole thing, right? Okay. Yeah. William is He's me? me? Yeah, I'm, I'm Michigan. Right now, Michigan, but I'm going to be oh. going to probably uh, South America, Peru, and Ecuador <laughs> to Peru. do some okay. an interesting project. Awesome. Uh, to hopefully like funding, get some funding, funding to build housing there. That would oh, be no, awesome. Not, oh, not, okay. not, do, not do fun. Uh, I'm 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 supplies to the rebels. I ran no, that was, to the electric I'll, I'll tell you what I I almost went that route. I was being recruited to be a special forces officer. Um, in my youth. So, and I, so I was approached by some interesting people and um, I came to the conclusion that the uh, projects that my friend was involved in, who was a Green Beret at the time, uh, were unconstitutional. So I said I passed. Uh, but uh, Tucson, Arizona is where I went to high school and college. And uh, I also went through some training there and um, that was a center for, you know, this is old, this is old news, you know, back in the eighties and nineties uh, it was a set during the height of the cold war. It was a center for, um, uh, you know, dark black projects. So a play a evergreen air service, which was a CIA front. It was well known that it was a CIA front uh, was based out of Tucson international airport. And, um, I was uh, coming in contact with a lot of uh, people who were taking flights on Evergreen, uh, little groups of guys, and um, I never uh, never went that route though. I just I just was satisfied with uh, uh, doing some research. You know, I was an armor. I was a tank crewman at the time, also at, at Fort Wachuca, oh, Arizona, served? which was the oh, only. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yes. 19 and I kilo also baby took classes. <laughs> What's that? Don't use I'll tell you what, don't use an iPhone 6 for this for the for these uh these exchanges it, it's very iPhone choppy. Six. I'm going to either get a better phone or be on a <laughs> PC next time. So I'll I'll be able to hear you guys and it won't be as choppy for me at least. I'm sorry, say that no. one more time. I said 19 kilo. If you, I was on 19 the kilo, world, so. 19 echo, and then and then yeah. it went to 19. Then it went to uh, the eight. You're a di you're but a dino it, tanker. I, I started out as a. What's that? You're a dino tanker. Yes. Well, it was it was. Those are the tanks. Those are the tanks that um, the Leopard One is essentially the same thing as an M sixty A three, which essentially was meant to be one step above the T-72. Hi. Hi. Hello. So, yeah, I can answer a lot of questions. I've come into contact with some people that had some unique information. I hope to be I hope to be able to contribute better with either a better phone or a PC, right? You know, if I go on a PC, I think it'll be better. The next, um, I'll try to time it. Where, Wyatt, where do you announce the uh, live streams? You do it in your at DPA or Patreon or both. The the live stream is in what sense? The the exclusively only for the patrons. It will be no, no. Just where do you days. post? Where do you post like that? Your I share everywhere actually. Uh, for at least for this one, I share everywhere like Twitter, you no know, Telegram. I didn't post on the. I didn't post on Patreon and Coffee though. But in, if let's say there's a is that Hezbollah on there? Do you, you, do you Skylar. Bye bye, Skylar. Do you have a regular time for the live streams or no? I try to, but, but you know, usually it's depend on my mood. <laughs> <laughs> the weekends. Yeah, I know you had one on Monday last time, I think. But anyways, uh, 
Yeah, no, I'd like to contribute a lot more. There's a lot of a lot of information, yeah, misinformation I notice is uh, that could be corrected uh, on these streams. Uh, you know, I, I just catch it, and it would be. I think that uh, this group would be extremely good if it had a, a few uh, people who could give, you know, give proper information regarding um, military stuff. You know. Uh, capabilities and things you know there's a lot of a lot of misinformation being passed around you know so i mean but that's, I think, that's, I think uh, there's, that's just how kind of that works right it's very easy to misconstrue that kind of stuff and i, think I, I would definitely uh, I think agree with you there's a lot there's a lot that can be gained with having someone who with direct experience in that field yeah well you know eventually that's what i imagine for wyatt's channel at least if not a greater channel where there's a there's a pool of uh, of qualified or expert people who can come in and just give information now that it's not you guys you guys are the media you guys are the controllers you know this is the future cnn's dead cnn's dying right now as we speak um they're they're cutting they're cutting jobs uh there's so a gap there's a vacuum and this could be the vacuum if you if you make it if you want if you want it bad enough and if you know how to develop it and you know you're going to have to have some people um who uh have the information you know i you know there's a lot of little small things i remember i i don't know i think it was weeb union once first of all are you guys getting getting everything i'm saying pretty much there you loud and clear yeah, I but, uh, but i have to ask you are you are you kind of suggesting that we should be like stenographers or you know, you provide right, information, yeah. and we are supposed to be talking heads. Because this is this is what you, it sounds like. You're, I'm a, I'm a, maybe I misunderstood it. I hope you could clarify. It's choppy on my end. I can't even. I I gotta. Oh, well. I think. You, uh, anyways, anyways, you get the idea. I I think you guys get the idea. And I'll, and we're we're gonna have many more live streams and much more productivity. I think. You know, this is the beginnings of it. So I think that. This group, and especially, I told Wyatt, I have his email. I got his. I, I sent him information. I see really big things for Wyatt and this group. Uh, it, it, I can envision exactly how this is going to develop, but you're changing everything. the 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 transition is moving from this mainstream media, which is really useless. Uh, you know, it's a mouthpiece, obviously, to People, sincere people who are not doing it for the money or the power or whatever. That's you guys, obviously, right?